In another important story tonight, an American POW at the center of a controversial prisoner swap was charged today with desertion. Sergeant Bo Bergdahl, who's 28, could get life in prison. We have more now from David Martin. The first charge, desertion, accuses Bergdahl of quitting his duty station, a patrol base in Afghanistan, with the intent to shirk hazardous duty. The second, more serious charge of misbehavior before the enemy accuses Bergdahl, who reportedly walked off the base after his guard shift, of endangering his unit. Bergdahl already has spent five years in captivity at the hands of the Haqqani Network in Pakistan, an ordeal that ended in May 2014 when he was released in exchange for five senior Taliban operatives held at Guantanamo. Critics have argued the U.S. gave up too much for Bergdahl. But it was a price President Obama was willing to pay as part of ending the war in Afghanistan. He brought home the only missing soldier from that war. He wasn't forgotten by his country because the United States of America does not ever leave our men and women in uniform behind. At that same appearance, the president introduced Bergdahl's father, who riled some viewers by speaking in the language of the enemy. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Zayabayem. Bergdahl, who has been assigned to a desk at Fort Sam Houston, Texas, since his return to the U.S., will now face the military equivalent of a grand jury to determine whether there is enough evidence to merit a court-martial. He is represented by Eugene Fidel, a former military attorney and current lecturer at Yale Law School. Uh, the case has been politicized in the sense that uh, some people in our democracy have seen this case as a way of hammering the president of the United States for any reason and every reason. Officials say Bergdahl, who cooperated with the Army's investigation, will probably need psychiatric care for the rest of his life. That would appear to set the stage for a plea deal which would spare the Army the spectacle of a court-martial in return for a lighter sentence. David Martin at the Pentagon this evening. David, thanks very much.